Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be covering tile entity renderers that allow us to render stuff based on the contents of our tile entity. So under client.screen let's create a new package. Let's delete the screen and call it .ter. In here let's create a new class called display case tile entity renderer and this class is going to extend tile entity renderer of our display case tile entity. So let's add the constructor and delete the to-do and then let's add unimplemented methods which is just going to give us the render function. However let's also get the Minecraft so let's do private Minecraft mc is equal to Minecraft dot get instance. Now we can fill out our render function. So here you can see we get the tile entity so let's just rename those to te. So in our display case tile entity we only really have one item so let's just create a function here. So let's do public item stack get item and then we're just going to return this dot items dot get zero which is going to return the item in the first slot. So now in here we can do if te dot get item and we can check if that equals so we can do dot equals item stack dot empty and if it does we can just return so we don't want to render anything if there's nothing to render. Next let's get the client player entities let's do client player entity player is equal to mc dot player and next let's create a function to get the light level so let's do private get light level and this is going to take the world world and the block pos pos and this is going to return an integer let's import world and pos so next let's get the int block light and that's going to be equal to world dot get light for and then we need a light type, so it's going to be light type dot block at the pause. And then let's copy this and change it to S light, as in skylight, and change the light type to dot sky. And then finally, we can return light texture dot pack light. And we can pass in the B light and then the skylight. So next, we can get the int light level at the position that's directly above the display case. So we can do int light level is equal to get light level at te.getWorld and te.getPos and we want to do one up so the block above the tile entity. So next I'm going to create another method called private void render item. And this is going to render any item we want and you can use this in any tile entity render, not just the display case one. So first let's get the item stack stack and then we're going to do the double array that's the translation from the origin next we need a quaternion for the rotation and we need a matrix stack stack an i render type buffer buffer float for the partial ticks an integer for the combined overlay an integer for the light level and a float for the scale let's press control shift f to sort that and we're using stack twice, so let's change this to matrix stack. So first we need to push the matrix stack, so let's do matrix stack dot push. Then let's do matrix stack dot translate, and then we can do translation zero for the x. And then we can paste this here and here, and then do translation one and translation two. Then let's rotate it, so let's do matrix stack dot rotate rotation and then let's scale it with matrix stack dot scale then we can pass in the scale in all three values next we need to create an i baked model and let's call this model and this is the model of our item then let's do mc dot get item renderer dot get item model with overrides then we just pass in the stack and two null values and then we can do mc dot get item renderer dot render item then we can do stack and we can do item camera transforms dot transform type dot ground then true then matrix stack then we need to pass in the buffer then the light level then the combined overlay and then the model 
and that's going to remove the error. And then finally, we can pop the matrix stack with matrix stack dot pop. And this is going to render the item. So now in here, let's render the item. So let's do render item. Then we need the item stack. So let's do tile entity dot get item, which is going to return an item stack. Next, we need the double array for the translation. So let's create a new double array. I'm going to put it to 0.5D, 1D, and 0.5D, which is going to render it above in the middle of the block. Next, we have the rotation, which is going to be vector 3F dot yp dot tation degrees and then we need the float value in which is 180 f minus player dot rotation yule like so then we can delete this bracket and this is going to make the item always look in the direction of the player let's use Control shift f to just make everything look a little cleaner and that's basically it except for the light level this is actually the scale so let's just render it a bit smaller than usual with 0.8f. And this will actually work, but what I'm going to do next is I'm going to render the name of the item above the item. So next we need another function, which is going to render some text. So let's do private void render label. Then we can pass in the matrix stack, stack. Then we can pass in the I render type buffer from here. So let's just copy paste that into there. Then let's get the int light level. And then we need a double array called corner. Finally, a string text component, text, and an int color. Let's auto format that, and now we need to render the text. Once again, let's do stack.push. Now we need to get the scale, so let's do float scale is equal to 0.01f. Then let's get the opacity, so we'll do int opacity is equal to, and then we can cast this next bit to an int. And then let's open more brackets and let's do 0.4f times 255.0f and then let's shift that 24 times. Then let's get the float offset which is going to be a float and to do this we're going to need a font renderer so let's do font renderer font is equal to mc.fontRenderer and then we can do minus font dot get string property width of the tech and then we can divide that by two next we just need the matrix so let's do matrix 4f matrix is equal to stack dot get last dot get matrix now that we've gotten all the values let's do stack dot translate then we can do corner zero corner one and corner two and then we can add 0.4f to here. Then we can do stack.scale and put in the scale into every value here. And then we can do stack.rotate to mc.getRenderManager.getCamera orientation. And next we need to flip it vertically. So let's do stack.rotate. Then we can do vector 3f.zp.rotation degrees 180f. And finally, we need to render the font. So let's do font dot. And this function hasn't been mapped yet. So it's going to be func 243247a. And this is going to take text offset zero color false matrix buffer false then opacity and then light level like so. And then finally, we need to pop the stack. So let's do stack.pop. And there we go, that's our render label function. So now after the item, let's render label. Let's pass in the stack, the buffer, the light level. Then we need to pass in a new double array of the position, which is going to be 0.5D, 1.3D, and then 0.5D. Then we need the text component, which we're going to do later. And then the color, which is going to be 0x, FFF, FFF. That's six Fs. Next, we need an I text component, which is going to be called label. And then we're going to set that equal to. Now we need to check if the stack has an item custom name. So let's do te.getItem.has display name. And if it does, we're going to do te.getItem.get display name. And otherwise, we can do te.item.get translation key which is a string and now we can do a new translation text component of the key which is going to be te.getItem.getTranslationKey 
Now we can pass in the label into here. And to fix the error, let's change this string text component to an I text component. And that is actually it for this class. So now we need to bind this to our tile entity. So in our client event bus subscriber, we can do client registry dot bind tile entity renderer. And then we can do tile entity types in it dot display case tile entity dot get and then we need a new tile entity renderer which is going to be display case tile entity renderer colon colon new and now we can run the game actually another thing we can do is up here we can also check or tile entity dot get item dot get item equals air and then we can also not render it and now if we go into the game you can see I have an item a block and a named block if I put the block in, it renders grass block or whatever language we're playing in. If I put in the named block, it's going to render the name of the block. And if we put in item, it's going to render that item. Same with blocks with custom models, they're also going to work. And you can see that the text and block are rotated in the direction that we're looking at so that we can always see them. Thank you for watching. If you need any help, join the Discord and I'll see you in the next episode.